In today's lesson, we'll be learning about factored form. In a previous lesson, we learned that a quadratic relation is just a type of pattern, and this pattern can be represented with an equation. This equation is called standard form. The variable c represents the y-intercept of the parabola. The variable of b doesn't really tell us anything useful about the parabola. And the variable of a tells us the direction of opening. If a is positive, that means the parabola is smiling or opening upwards. If a is negative, that means the parabola is frowning or opening downwards. A quadratic relation can also be represented with another type of equation. This equation is called factored form. Just like before, the variable a represents the direction of opening. If a is positive, that means the parabola is smiling or opening upwards. If a is negative, that means the parabola is frowning or opening downwards. The variables of r and s are new. They represent the x-intercepts. However, determining the x-intercepts from an equation in factored form are a little bit tricky. I'll be showing you a shortcut instead. Down below, you'll see an equation of a quadratic relation in factored form. The variable of a is positive 1. Since this is positive, that means the parabola is smiling or opening upwards. Variables r and s are negative 2 and negative 3. They're supposed to tell us what the x-intercepts are. However, I did mention before that these x-intercepts are a little bit tricky. When determining the x-intercepts, you need to change their signs. So it's no longer negative 2, it's actually positive 2. And it's no longer negative 3, it's actually positive 3. Therefore, the x-intercepts are positive 2 and a positive 3. There is a reason for this, but I'm not going to get into that in this lesson. I've gone ahead and graphed this parabola. The variable of a was positive 1, which meant that the parabola would have to be smiling or opening upwards. The variables r and s were negative 2 and negative 3, which meant the x-intercepts had to be positive 2 and positive 3. Remember, you have to change their signs. Down below, you'll see another equation of a quadratic relation in factored form. The variable of a is negative 1. Since it is negative, that means the parabola must be frowning or opening downwards. The variables of r and s were positive 2 and positive 3. They're supposed to tell us about the x-intercepts. As mentioned before, when determining the x-intercepts, you need to change their signs. So this is no longer positive 2, it's now negative 2, and it is no longer positive 3, it is now negative 3. Therefore, the x-intercepts are actually negative 2 and negative 3. I've gone ahead and graphed this parabola. The variable of a was negative 1. Since it was negative, that meant the parabola had to be frowning or opening downwards. Variables of r and s were positive 2 and positive 3, which meant the x-intercepts had to be negative 2 and negative 3. Don't forget, you need to change the signs when determining the x-intercepts. 